morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Teacher Bingo. Um, this looks a tad bit different, I'm sure, because Facebook Live decided to change. Hello, guys. Sorry, Facebook seemed to have changed their layout, so it's a tad bit different for me. So I apologize if you can't hear me or see me, but if you can hear me and see me, please comment. Um, but welcome to Teacher Bingo. I plan this so that we can do something fun. Oh, yay, somebody's on. Hi, Gail. Hi, Katie. Hi, Lindsay. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, Facebook decided they wanted to change it up. Hello, Tammy. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Nicole. And I'm excited to do Teacher Bingo with you guys. This is just something I thought of and I thought it would be fun. I know it's kind of boring here, quarantine, but I hope you guys are all safe. I hope you're healthy. Uh, I'm sure you guys have printed your bingo cards. If you haven't printed them, like exit right now, quickly go to Teachers Pay Teachers and print the three. I planned about three games. It depends on, I guess, how many people actually come to the live, um, but good luck. Some of the prizes I have is a TPT gift card and uh, items from my store. And I'm not talking about uh, the Teachers Pay Teachers store, I'm talking about my website. So if you have not been to my website, please do so. There are so many freebies I've been posting, and I'm gonna be moving my entire TPT store to uh, my page. Well, I guess I probably should have muted my phone. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to have everything between 10 to 20% off on my business page. So if there's something that you are particularly looking for that's in my TPT store and it hasn't moved over to my page, no worries. So if you win, you're just going to email me your bingo card and how you stamped it, whether you used markers, crayons, um, however you marked it, and then let me know what product you would like to see. So if you go log on to carolynscreativeclassroom.com, you make an account with your email address, and then I'm going to place that product into your downloads, where you can download anytime you want, as many times as you want, just like Teachers Pay Teachers. However, you'll just see a discount on some of my items just because I um, don't have to pay as many fees. So Teachers Pay Teachers takes 20% of my fees and I get to relay those savings on to you guys on my website. So if you haven't been on there, please do so. And the winners are going to get the products through my website. So you'll need it to have an account. And I'm hoping everybody, hi Tiffany, hi Nicole, hi Lindsay, hi Katie, all have your bingo cards ready. Uh, if you have your bingo cards ready, say, I'm ready. I'm going to just give a couple minutes for people to get on um, so that we can play. I do want to tell you that there are going to be some things added to my website that are not just digital. Uh, for back to school, I know this year is um, a wash, which is really sad, and I'm so sorry for you guys and all of your students, uh, but... I'm hoping and planning for next year to start to have some hard goods on my store. And I'm not just talking anchor charts, I'm talking about like full centers. And I'm also uh, talking about something really neat, which is going to be uh, lineup dots. And they're like vinyl, and you can use them as like spots that you're sitting at, and they can be sanitized and mopped over. So, and it's printable, so my machines can make them any theme that you would like, which is really neat. So I'm excited about that. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys found it. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Melody. Um, so get your bingo cards ready. I see everybody is good morning. And I apologize. I realized that this is a very, very early time for some people from other uh, time zones. Uh, yes, Tara, so they'll be on the floor, which is really neat. And these bingo cards are absolutely free. Just go to Teachers Pay Teachers, and it's like the second one down as, as my new resources. 
So go ahead and print them really quickly while we get started. I'm just letting everybody get on and get ready. Yay, Bonnie. I'm glad you guys all have made it. And I know some of you guys are new because you've shared this with some of your teacher friends. So my name's Carolyn, and I'm from Carolyn's Creative Classroom. And you can find me on Teachers Pay Teachers, on my website, YouTube, Twitter, you name it. And I know it's super early, but I am so happy you guys have joined me. And I will make sure the next time I plan one of these events that I put it a little bit later so that everybody can make it. But, you know, those people that are getting up early, um, you know, you'll have a great start to your day. And hopefully you guys uh, will win some prizes. We'll see. I think I'm going to uh, do three games. So, Tammy, what we're going to do is you get your bingo cards uh, ready. And I'm going to be pulling out the cards out of my bucket and then I'll be placing them on uh, my pocket chart so if you're coming in a little bit later um, you'll be able to catch up and I know some of you weren't able to print them so what I suggested is you screenshot on your phone and then you can mark on your phone like as if it's a picture so you still get to play so if you um, didn't get it printed, just screenshot a bingo card from the download on Teachers Pay Teachers, and you can participate too. So that way, I know some of you don't have printers at home because, you know, you have printers at school. Hopefully, you'll be able to join me uh, to play now. So the directions are, you're just going to take your bingo card. I'm going to pull it out. I'll place them here, and once you get bingo, all you have to do is type bingo in the comments. And the first person to type bingo wins. And then we'll play about uh, three games or so, depending on how many people are on. And there's a TPT gift card and items from my store. And the first game we're going to play is for the TPT gift card. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to Teacher Bingo. I hope you've invited your kids to play, too, because they're welcome to play. And your friends and your family. I hope you're all safe. And let's get started for game one. You're going to win a TPT gift card. All right, let me mix. So it's just like regular bingo, five in a row. So if you want to mark the free spot right now, go ahead. And you can get five across, five down. It doesn't matter. Ready? All right, the first one is mix, 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 mix. And my cards are going to be in color, but for printing purposes, I made yours black and white. So it will look a little bit different. But the first one is a push pin, something that I used to uh, place in my walls in the classroom, which I got in major trouble for <laughs> the first uh, couple years of my teaching career. But they hold way better than some other things. All right. Second one, something you guys, I'm sure, have been uh, using for some time with the digital is headphones. All right, we have two. Oh, something I miss, books. I miss reading to my students, and I'm sure you guys are doing it digitally, but it's just not the same. So the third one is a book. If you're just joining me now, go ahead and look at the ones that are already up. All right. Backpack. I hope parents have gone through backpacks and made sure that there's uh, no food left in there. Hopefully this is lots of fun, guys, and I hope that we can kind of take the stress of all this digital learning and um, all this new stuff that just be able to relax on this Saturday morning. So thanks for joining me. Ah, a student sitting crisscross applesauce and raising their hand. Good morning. Hi, Heather. Hi, Rebecca. All right. Oh, speaking of checking... This is something you definitely want to make sure you've checked your child's lunchbox. 
I can't tell you how many times a parent came after like spring break or something and got their child's lunchbox and it was moldy. A little fun fact, I can't smell at all. I um, was actually in a car accident and I lost my sense of smell. So when I was teaching, there's things like that that I couldn't smell when kids fart. <laughs> I couldn't smell anything. And I also do have a bunch of cats. Good morning, Crystal. You go ahead and catch up. These are the ones that we've done so far. Good morning, Susan. And uh, so I know you might hear a cat or two, so I apologize because they're going to hear me talking to you guys and they're going to wonder why they can't get into the room. So if you hear a couple cats meow. <laughs> All right, something you guys have done, email. I know you guys done a lot of that lately. Ah, scissors. One of the first things I try to teach students on safety in my classroom. Good morning, Patty. Thank you for joining me. This is so much fun, guys. We definitely have to do this again. Ah. Homework folder. Good morning. I do miss checking their homework. You know, there's things like that that you just don't realize that you would really miss. The little things, guys. It's the little things. Ooh, somebody just needs one more. A chair. Teaching students how to push in their chairs. It's one of the major practicing Back to school things. Ah, ready? Pencil. Ooh, I'm sure you guys are getting close. All right, mix. Ah, something I miss incredibly, and I'm sure all of you do. School. One more, one more, guys. You guys are so close. Mix, mix, mix. Cubbies. Or center bins, what I call them. Yay! Oh, we have two bingos. So Tara and Francis. Oh, we got a bunch. And Laura and Liz. So... All of my friends that got bingo, I see there's probably four or five of them. Congratulations. I'll have you guys email me. Make sure that you have your bingo card and take a picture with your phone. And email me at Carolyn's Creative Classroom at gmail.com. And I will get those gift cards to you guys. So congratulations on the winners. Get your second bingo card ready. That was super fast. Congratulations, winners. Make sure that you email me at Carolyn's Creative Classroom at gmail.com. And congratulations on the winners. And let's play our second game. So the games from here on out are going to be winning something from my website. I have posted all voice level uh, cards for, I think there's like 60 or 70 uh, themed decor sets that I have. Um, can somebody help Katie out by uh, showing her the link to TPT? And if you have a uh, child, please come, let them join. Let this be a family event, guys. More the merrier on this. All right, so game two, you're going to win something from my website. And remember, if there's something in my TPT store that you see, but it's not on my website, just email me and I'll make sure I move it over to let you guys win. Oh, yay. That's awesome, Beth. I'm having fun, too. <laughs> and I'm mixing it up for game two. So everybody get your bingo card uh, ready for game two. Now, um, I have about, I 
think six or seven hundred items already in my store there is a search feature and um, if you go, sign on you'll see well I guess it depends if you're on your phone or if you're on your laptop you'll see actually I have categorized all the decor sets so that you can click it thank you so much Tara for sending the link and you can find all the decor sets that I have and then I have alphabet posters, shape posters, name posters, you have um, voice level, name plates, you have morning greetings, you have picture directions, and all of that on the decor. And I know it's probably a little early to be thinking about next year's decor, but if you are like me who spends like all summer preparing and, and excited and you want to change the theme out, I have so many to choose from. And if you don't see it, you just let me know, and I will be uh, sure to make sure I get it for you guys. All right, game two. I'll talk forever, guys. Lunchbox. All right. Number two. Pencil sharpener. I can't tell you how many pencil sharpeners I have purchased over my 15 years of teaching. I think I've broke a lot of them. <laughs> Classroom rug. Yes, if you won, you can continue to play. Um, however, only one winner, though. Uh, just to allow more people to win. But please don't leave. Um, play with us. I just would like to have as many winners as possible. All right, calculator. Mixing, mixing. Ooh, a globe. No worries, Katie, and if you miss game two, we'll have game three, so hopefully you'll have it printed then. Yes, you're absolutely right. It is the best sharpener. And I have to admit, I still broke one, um, a couple of those. <laughs> School bus. And I would say some of my students have, too, because um, there was times where I had a student put a crayon inside of it. <laughs> Parent conferences. As a first year teacher, I used to dread having parent conferences just because I, I know I seem outgoing now, but truly I am an invert. I know you guys probably don't think that. And Facebook Live sometimes scare me, but I'm trying so hard. <laughs> All right, dice, upside down. Or die for one. Ooh, one more for Mary. Glue. Just a dot is a lot. I know I had moved to glue sponges and different glue. A clock. Oh, one more for Heather and Nicole. Who's going to get it? Clipboard. One of my favorite things to do is write the room with clipboards. And I don't know if you guys know, but I made a mega bundle for write the room. And that is on my TPT store. Yay! Congratulations, Beth and uh, Molly and Cassie and Whitney. Congratulations to the bingo winners. Alright, all of you guys, make sure that you email me at Carolyn's Creative Classroom and then take a look at my website and see, congratulations everyone, and pick out what one item you would like from my store. Um, if there's something you've been eyeing on Teachers Pay Teachers, uh, make sure you look and see if it's on my store. And if it's not, no big deal, I will put it on my store. Congratulations everybody. We'll play one more. So I promised that we'd do like a half an hour. 
upset. I, last time, I felt so incredibly bad because I was on for like an hour and a half at my last Facebook Live. <laughs> and thank you to everyone who actually uh, stayed with me for an hour and a half because I will talk forever. I'll talk your head off, guys. <laughs> All right, mixing it up, mixing it up. All right, tell me, guys, are you ready for game three? Give you a second to get your third one ready. Mix, mixing it. All right, you guys ready? Okay, game three. First one is... A scoop chair. Sorry, guys, it froze there for a second. All right. How many of you guys had one of those in your classroom or a couple of those in your classroom? I know I tried to uh, purchase them over and over and over again and they'd always be sold out. And then I finally, <laughs> sorry Rebecca, <laughs> when I finally purchased them, um, then it was, you know, not the cool thing and, and it, it was like, like the light box and other stuff. <laughs> But my kids still love the scoop rockers. All right. A whiteboard. I'm mixing them up. Mixing them up. Just for you, Rebecca. <laughs> All right. Ooh, something I absolutely loved. My smart board. I'm trying to convince Steve to uh, get me a smart board actually in this teacher room so that I can show how to use my smart board creations and hopefully get more of them posted. But I want a smart board, but like a smart TV like I had in my last school. I oh, loved that thing. So many fun things you can do with your students. All right, crayon and my favorite color, pink. I know, I actually wish everybody had a smart board in their classroom. There's so many fun things that you can do with them. Something I miss, I know that a lot of people probably don't miss this, but is bulletin boards. There are times that I would like dread doing a bulletin board only because I had like a million things to get done. But I love doing bulletin boards because I feel like I can be so creative and get the students, uh, you know, input in. I don't know, it just was fun to me. A printer. I have been through so many printers, it's unreal. <laughs> I I probably spent like $10,000 in ink, easy. <laughs> A ruler. I miss my measurement. Oh, we always had so much fun measuring each other and watching, like, Sid the Science Kid on the measurement. <laughs> Progress report. Dun, dun, dun. I'm trying, Tara. <laughs> you know, I never did HP Insta Ink, but I do have the Eco Tank, and I actually really like it. But I am used to this, like, really expensive printer, and the quality that it prints is amazing. But every single time, it was three to $400 just in ink. All right, door. The reason why I did the classroom door, because it just reminded me of classroom gratings. And it's just something I absolutely love doing with the kids is those morning gratings. If you have not done morning greetings, I highly recommend it. I do have, like, 
I don't know, 60 or 70 different themed ones to match your classroom decor. But it just builds such a sense of, you know, that relationship with your students is one of like my favorite times of the day, just like morning meetings are. Ooh, another flexible seating. Oh, somebody's getting close. One more left. I'm trying to mix, but also pick different ones so that. <laughs> Ooh, iPad. I don't know if you guys have seen some of my boom card sets that I've been posting. Absolutely loving the boom cards. Um, something I did with my students. But I just started getting into posting them. I never thought uh, to post them to Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm getting them. Uh, Crystal, I'll message you about that. Um, Dr. Seuss is uh, trademarked and copyrighted. So of course I would not have that set. I have the teacher cup. Now, that's one thing since I have started working from home is uh, I haven't been drinking coffee lately. Like, I was obsessed. I had, like, two to three things of coffee, like, every day, and now I just replaced it with, like, uh, chocolate. <laughs> that's how it always works, Rebecca. A composition book. All right, I'm really mixing it up. Mix, 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 mix. Oh, this is a new one. Flexible seating. Yes, I do miss the warmth, but I have to admit, Mary, I um, drank coffee where it tasted like candy, and I'm sure the calories were like a million. <laughs> Yay! I see some bingos. I see Rebecca got bingo. Oh, did we only have one winner this time? All right, congratulations on the winner for uh, game three. Do you guys want to play one more? Want to do four rounds? Oh, there was a bingo at Teacher Cup. Well, congratulations. We'll take those two winners for game three. So, I'm sorry I missed it. It's scrolling. So, congratulations on the two winners for uh, bingo. And if, give me yes if you want to play uh, a game before. Because technically, it's been 30 minutes, but if you guys want to play one more, I mean, we're quarantined. There's not much I can really do. <laughs> and this is fun. So let me mix it up. Oh, I see a, quite a bit of yeses. Awesome. All right. Okay. This time, let's play a little different. Okay. Let's get... Want to do the whole card this time? Who can get bingo the entire card? It might be kind of big, but, and long. <laughs> All right. Let's mix, 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 mix. All right. I'm awake. I'm ready. Woohoo! Tara's ready. My email is carolynscreativeclassroom at gmail.com. And you'll see it on my uh, website, or if you click to Teachers Pay Teachers, um, it's on every single product, too. All right, mixing, mixing, mixing. All right, I am ready. Game four, we'll just play one more bingo. Um, and I, I won't make you guys do the whole card. <laughs> All right, good luck, everyone. Number four starts with the scoop rocker. Woo, woo, woo. We'll just play. 
play the, the next bingo. We won't do the whole card. Yes, Gina, you just go ahead and email me. I'm sorry I missed your bingo. So email me and uh, let me know which product you would like. All right, the next one is a calculator. I'm, yeah, Tara, we're not playing the whole card. I just thought it would be fun. <laughs> so the first bingo gets to uh, pick something from my TPT store or website. All right, globe. So regular five. Yep, the first one who gets bingo for just five in a row. Pocket chart. Something I absolutely love and is a staple in my classroom. I love doing centers in them and making a uh, predictable sentences. If you haven't uh, tried that in my store, you have to try that. Makes the, the kids learn to read their sight words and fluency. Uh, Tammy, we're just going to do something from my uh, store. So any product that you would like. Stapler, again, another staple in my classroom. All right, you ready? We, I know I went kind of fast. There's the first five, scoop rocker, calculator, globe, pocket chart, and stapler. Email. I'm sure my email is going to be blowing, blown up today. Congratulations on all the winners, guys. A laptop. I have broke plenty of these laptops before. <laughs> I might have cracked a couple screens and dropped them because I take my laptop everywhere, including the car. There are times where uh, my boyfriend will go to, like, you know, the auto parts store. He's like, come with me. And I'm like, okay. And I bring my laptop to work. <laughs> a clip. Um, Melody, I don't know if you saw or not, but I had a Earth Day bingo that I just posted free on my website. That's something you might, the kids might enjoy. But it is, it is not like bingo, like you're pulling things out. It's like things that you can do, uh, to help the earth, like, you know, turning the water off, but you can uh, make it editable, so you can type in whatever you would like for the Earth Day Bingo. Homework. But if there is something that, like, you're like, oh my gosh, I need to have a lesson on, like, sight words, or I'm working on O-R-A-R, -R, and there's, like, something that you want created, just uh, email me, and I'm pretty quick about creating. Just know that I'm pretty swamped with postcards right now and trying to get those um, up and going for the big, big, big update. But once I get up past all of that, then uh, I can start taking some more personal requests. A clipboard. Definitely, this would be really fun to Zoom with your students and play bingo. Absolutely. A rug. A printer. Crayon. I know somebody's got to be getting close. something we haven't had. Ooh, an eraser. Yay, I see some bingos. Congrats, Steph. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy playing bingo with me. Thank you so much for coming in and joining me on a Saturday morning. I know that this was early for a ton of you guys, so I appreciate it. Um, if you have another Facebook Live idea that you think would be fun, just let me know. Yay, I see a couple more bingos. Go ahead and email me. 
and uh, take a picture of your bingo card and what product that you would like from my store and let me know if you can't find it in my store and I will um, make sure I have it and you will also have to let me know your email address because I will be uh, sending it via on my website and that way at any time that I make a update on a resource you'll be able to re-download and get the updates absolutely free um, Amy, I'll add that to uh, to my create list, okay? Congratulations all, on all the winners. And um, I had an, a blast with you guys. This was fun. This was just something that I wanted teachers to kind of come together, have some fun. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit crazy now. So make sure that you are safe, washing your hands, you're healthy. And we'll do another Facebook Live. Maybe we'll do another bingo. Uh, maybe sometime soon. Maybe next week or so something. We'll ha we got to keep up this Facebook Live and have fun. So this was fun, guys. I'm going to let you get to your morning. Hopefully you are in your PJs playing and enjoying. <laughs> um, I will definitely uh, add that to my list. Just know, please, please be, be patient with me. Um, because I have about 30 or 40 updates to the postcards. So if I can get those done first, then I can start uh, getting this game on to TPT for your students, okay? So thank you guys. Have an awesome Saturday, an awesome weekend. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I look forward to your emails, and congrats to the winners, guys. All right, bye.